Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg from Baggio. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, let's start with you, Bragg. Did you get up much this week? Uh, no, it was just still in the back of Sky Striker. Uh, I wasn't on last week's episode and that's the last time I played. Oh, true, the tag. Yeah, how did you tag. find the tag, Jules? Loved it. It was a great day. It was like nice, fun social stuff. I really liked it. Hmm. Like, I think there's a few, like, if you wanted to get more competitive with it, I'm sure there's some fine tuning, but it was... Oh, definitely. I think we could have made some tweaks, definitely. Like, we could have played 40-minute rounds. That would yeah. have been, or 45-minute rounds. Yeah. Just and a 45-minute best of one would have been fine. And that's a problem, because we don't play a lot of these fun formats. We, like, think of these things immediately after be like oh it should be this oh it should be that yeah. and then it's another year and a half before we play again so we forget all the tweaks that we were going to implement yeah definitely it's it was an issue of not having enough time i don't think a single game that my team played it cannot stay at 30 minutes and not do stairway to heaven yeah. there's no way stairway to heaven doesn't win like it's yeah. 30 minutes is no time at all with four people just be the fourth player and play stairway to heaven will our viewers know what stairway to heaven is Ah, the deep, the deep cut people will know what Stairway to Heaven is. Okay. If you wish to know what it is, feel free to let us know in the Discord. It's pacifist. Where you just increase your life. Yes, not to be confused with pacifist Umi control. <laughs> How's the weather, Bragg? Is it still raining in Manchester? Yes. Good. It's England. It's always raining. But it needs to just be raining today. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to rain today. Whack we... England needs us for its rain. Gets yearly rainfall in Manchester today. Yep. Moving on from the weather in England for cricket, uh, <laughs> Ben. Um, so I, what, what did I do on Tuesday? Uh, I think I played Pearly. You did. And I went 2-2. It's fine. It's okay. I was 2-0 and then I yeah, fell off. And I was like, it was bad. Um, then today I went to... Uh, Alliance. Yeah, I went to Alliance in Sydney for the sneak peek because our store's just been sold. It's undergoing some changes, so there was no sneak peek today. I came home with the playmat, so I'm quite happy. He did the win. I, I did indeed win the playmat, and it was good. I played Rescue Ace, of course. Got to play the new commons. It went fine. It went fine and dandy. I still should. I haven't opened this yet. Let's live opening. <gasps> He's taking it out of the original packaging. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging. I'm just going to... Exposed to the air. Do the seal. Oh, change. what is this? Oh, there's poster? a poster in there. Oh, that's interesting. Sure. I got a poster. <gasps> yes. Oh. Just to remind you of all the cards you can get in there. Rev it up. Right. Again. <laughs> Rev it up again. <laughs> oh, this color's not that bad when you open it up. Although it does look yeah. like a different one. Cover over the Jacob's face. Yeah, yeah, it's not important. Um, I feel like they've used that coloration in mats before. Yeah, I don't they have mind definitely it. used this I, before. I quite like it. The it's got zones on it. Ugly as hell. Though. Yeah, yeah, the, the font's font wrong. of Duelist Nexus is shit. And like, as you open boxes, it, it kind of looks shit as well. Yeah, this looks like the font from like a JRPG second iteration where they're trying to be edgy and cool. Yes. We're gonna put this on the wall. Yeah. Put this, put this up here. It's gonna go on the the wall of fame. The Duelist Nexus poster that we have. For some reason. Such a small poster too. I'm really looking forward to being reminded to rev it up again. Again. Every day. Because going fast will make you feel alive. My heart beats. In <laughs> hyperdrive. In a way that my doctor is okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> it trust me, we used to Consult DCG. your doctor before revving it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you ended up winning. We, was your box any good? No, it was garbage. Um, yeah, so won the play map, but my garbage, my box is garbage. So I can't... That's quite how sneak peeks go, generally speaking. Yeah. He pulled Magician of Faith too. I did pull Magician oh, the, of Faith yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was... Are you looking forward to recycling your two spells and summoning Magician of Faith from deck? Not at all. Not at all. Why is this still in it? Why is this not... You did this last week, Jake. Just... They... Those no, I mean, I deck. was fiddling with it too. My bad. What are you guys doing here? Um, I mean, yeah. hopefully doing a podcast. Just... I... The deck will be better once I learn 
emergency is better than I give it credit for. <laughs> I thought you'd been testing these combos for months, Ben. You've been raving on about the firemen as no, if I they were tested, taking over the world. I haven't but tested there's shit. There's no theory involved in this. You're just like, it's good. they'll win. I don't know how, yeah, but yeah, they'll yeah. do it. <laughs> um, there was like three times where I just fucking forgot what emergency did. <laughs> and like there were times when it cost me and I was just like whoops my bad I'll figure this out later oh dear and still won like I did straight up just lose a game because I uh yeah I did straight up just lost a game because I forgot that it just summons from deck oh yeah I needed yeah. to put something in bin so I was like I can summon from deck and then pop the monster I summon and instead I was just like I pass. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because, like, my hand was, like... I drolled my opponent, and then my hand was fucking... The Reborn from Grave, Emergency, one-for-one one droll. Was, like, I drew the yeah, droll right. for turn, because I got talents for the card rip, and then my opponent passed. Uh, one-for-one one got ashed, and was, like... I pass. <laughs> <laughs> I have and, a summit from deck, but I don't plan to use it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. As things go on, it'll get better, but hey, won the mat, so I can't complain. Oh, uh, that's the other thing as well. Like, it's not something that we commonly do when we do a sneak peek, but they did actual, uh, like, advanced construction with yeah. addition of new cards. Well, that is, like, the official Kami stance now. They yeah. changed it from being draft, like, yeah. before COVID. Well, I didn't think Seal. it was their official thing to be like, oh, you can do advanced construction. Nah. I thought it was just mm. like, do what you want as long as you buy our product. Nah, so for Eternity Code, they changed it so it was advanced constructed. Mm. However, COVID happened, and we never did that sneak peek. Right, okay. And then we came back and went, I just want to do it the way we used to. Yep. Yeah. There's been too much change in the last two years, I want to go back to the way things were. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, was it Eternity Code, the COVID set? Yeah. Yeah, Ed Code was. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it does make more sense. Draft with these sets. Draft, oh my god, they've even got me saying it. <laughs> Sealed with these sets <laughs> isn't the best. No, yeah. it used to be better, I feel. Like just to get boomer for a minute i feel like it used to be better in the old days there was more generic cards you got more of an archetype in one box so you could actually like play something coherent it depends like there's some sets that are really good yeah some sets that are really bad for it and this, this is a set that's bad for it yeah because it's just so much support across so many different types where this yeah. is the perfect time to do an advanced constructor where everyone comes in with their deck gets yes. new shit let's go yeah. although you can emergency search preventer Okay, so and then pop the preventer. So in a sealed environment, yep. you want to pull those cards. Yes, except you have nothing you can summon from banish with your preventer. Ah, it's still a big monster, I'm assuming. Ah, uh, well, no, it dies. So you emergency summon preventer. Preventer dies, and then preventer would normally oh, then summon it summons from and pops something yep. in the same action. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yeah. So it pops from hand or field. Anyway, I'm learning too much about yeah, Simon. We're on a tangent here. Yeah. Uh, my week. Yeah. Um, so, had a great time last Sunday with uh, Ice Jades. Uh, came to Tuesday and did not have a great time. Um, the deck, like, granted, I don't have it built to the capacity that I've seen in a lot of videos that I've watched. It's been like, no one has these cards. They were from Burst of Destiny, and clearly their lack of pulling DP just meant they threw every other card in the bin. So I have like none of the cards that I need to actually make the deck work. So I've been like playing a really scrappy version of it and the scrappy version bad. Scrappy version real bad. Mm -hmm. So by scrappy version, you mean a thrown together mishmash version or yeah. a version with scraps? No, no, no. A mismatch version. Okay. Cause there's two di there's very different things here, Jake. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, that's a good credit to Jake. He's playing scraps. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely not. Why, um, not. why not just put scraps in there? We can all be scrap trawlers. I'm already playing some really jank shit in there. Like, fridge. Yeah. Use the fridge. So I probably will end up playing it again on Tuesday, <laughs> but that's purely because I don't want to have to build something else and then change to the new deck on next Sunday because I now have some of the cards that I need for that. So I intend to play Rescue Ace on Tuesday night and just scoop every match. Huh? I'm going to play Rescue Ace Concede because I You're can't legally go play the deck. just to play yeah. the, the deck at its soon-to-be full power. Yeah. <laughs> I go to Japan a week. I want to play it as much as I can before I go. 
but you're going to buy it in Japan in max rarity. So you get to play it all over there. And they all know what it does. So you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to do this. And they're going to be like, no. I can't, <laughs> lift. I can't lift. I can't give a thumbs up anymore. Oh, that's right. Your thumb's broken. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, just not the same. That one's better know? for camera. It's you're just not the yeah, same. That was actually... This one's better for camera. Yeah. It does feel weird, though, doing it with your left hand. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes you just want a bit of difference. Yeah, true. Left hand. Um, and then I have been playing quite a bit of Master Duel, um, which I'll talk about in a second. Having quite a bit of fun. Um, Rank-wise, I'm currently at Master 5, although the festival's taking up a lot of my time and it's quite fun, so I'm not bothering too much. I gave up on that festival ranking. immediately. I was like... Yeah, because none of the archetypes you like to play are within those well, two. Well, I was going to play Labyrinth and then was like... I'm um, sorry, Rootney? No, La Labyrinth. I was going to play Route Labyrinth and I was like... Nah. I played like three games and was well, like... you're one of the f many that... Cho no, sorry. You're one of the few that chose not to play it, which I'll get into in just a second. So, actually, I want to continue my point. Uh, all of my wins, I'm fairly sure all of them were... I set four and my opponent just scooped. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I won the die roll, set four, scooped. Yep. Uh, yep. Like, sure. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> is works. a lot of that. Um, so, yeah, we've obviously touched on it a bit, but getting into Master Duel, uh, the Dan, Br Dan Brown Festival has uh, started and is well underway. Uh, I kind of fucked up the entry to that, so it's not as funny. Uh, mm. But the current festival is uh, fairies and fiends only. Angels and demons. Mm -hmm. Dan Brown. Mm -hmm. Every, pause for applause. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank what you. A boring name. Dan Brown. Dan Brown. That's why he had to rely... I'm broken. Continue. Uh, so, that's been going for a few days now. Uh, I was quite excited because I was like, oh, I have two different archetypes that I can play. I could either play Unchained or I could play the Agent Fairies. Yeah, Both kind of cool. Like. Um, what I ended up landing on, though, was Dark Lord Despia. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Because uh, it was using yeah. both archetypes. But the main thing with it is that uh, the fusion for Dark Lord is bonkers. Uh no fairy you control can be targeted for any card effects. Oh, yeah, okay, the big guy. Yeah, and if you use uh, Dark Lord, he was Morning... building Dark World. No, Dark, Lord, Dark Lord. Lord. Dark Lord. Uh, and if you use Dark Lord Morning Star as the fusion material, blows up the opponent's board. Yes, very good card. Um, so yeah, uh, I had a sixty card build going in. Uh, slowly I whittled that down uh, Put a lot more spell and trap removal in And red reboots Because Labyrinth is just running rampant in that festival And you have like no hand traps or anything to hold it back Why didn't they wait for Pearly to do this? No idea Pearly versus Labyrinth Just go Off Are they fairies? Yeah Well you've thought there were uh, Beast, Beast Warrior and Wing Beast for quite some time I just assumed they were beasts. No. Legitimately never looked at what attributes they were, or what typing they were. I've always just been like, oh, yeah. they must be beasts. I have won three locals. <laughs> <laughs> this is a text box that's not worth reading. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, having quite a bit Today of fun I learned. That. Um, The prize for that current festival is, uh, once you get to, I think it's 6,000 medals you get. DD Ghost Mate, the little uh, yeah, crystal like with a cat. The in fucking it. worst one. It looks cool. Eh. Like the other ones I don't think would look as cool as a mate. Swall slime? Nah. Just High King Genghis? Nah. Nah, I rate Diddy Ghost. It's cool. Yeah. Aesthetically, I think it's one of the better ones. Nah, um, slime. But yeah, um, and lots of free gems with that one. I think it's like three and a half thousand just from the festival itself and then all the extra bits that they do on the festival. So if you want to earn some gems, uh, good way to do it. Uh, just prepare yourself for a fuck ton of trap decks. Yeah, I should really, I should really do it for those gems just before it goes. But I'm just being so deep in rush rules. We're all so but deep in rush rules. Grinding for summon skull, and then I immediately went, "Oh, I want to play machines now." <laughs> 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 oh dear lord! Uh, um, lunch has been called <laughs> at the uh, cricket. Oh, well, oh. just as well it's raining. <laughs> Good, so lunch got called, no, no, it's still raining in Manchester? Well, the, it rained stop and they called lunch. Plenty of time for rain to kick in. Oh, so they started playing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, they, they were about to, then they went, oh no, it's lunch, so. <laughs> Let's have some lunch, guys. Yeah. 
Leave the covers off. Yeah. Let it rain. Yeah. It's raining oh, in Manchester. Dear Lord. Better be raining in Manchester. Uh, so moving on to some product news, uh, we start with uh, some of the new cards that have been announced for Age of Overlord. Uh, we start with one of the weirder ones, uh, Dark Hole Dragon. Uh, basically, <laughs> if a card is destroyed by a non-targeting effect, it summons itself and then on summon it searches Dark Hole during the end phase, and it can't be destroyed by card effects. Um, so you can summon it from hand on your opponent's turn and search Dark Hole? Yes, but only on your opponent's turn if something dis- is destroyed, but by non-targeting effect well like realistically there's a lot of decks that play cards that are just like do this to destroy one card you control yes and then you can summon it search dark hole dark hole dark hole, dark hole. this archetype <laughs> that, this archetype loves to destroy stuff with hard counted by your opponent searching a dark hole that's fine they can destroy my stuff I like to be destroyed <laughs> dark hole so uh, this can loop with dark hole right it can't be destroyed by card effects but if you have another one in hand... Cause yeah, cause, cause, but can it get a Dark Hole from Graveyard at all when it dies? Uh, Does it add a yeah, dark, yeah. Hole, a dark Hole or Dark Hole card? A uh, Dark Hole, specifically, uh, from deck to hand. So, yeah, unless you have a way of getting Dark Hole uh, from your Graveyard back into the deck. Not really. Uh, I thought that was a weird thing where you can... Make no, it, if it recycled it from Graveyard, this card would be bonkers. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, you'd only ever need to play one Dark Hole and just hope that you open this card. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, it's Dark Hole and Dark Hole Dragon. Like, um, but yeah, okay. also level eight dark dragon with three thousand attack. It's searchable with. Um, You're gonna have to start playing thing. white hole. <laughs> yeah, bam. Or just not care about destruction. This card ten years ago was hilarious. Can trap tricks search white hole? Yes. Is it not a counter trap? I don't know. No, I don't think it, it is. I thought it was a counter trap. Griffin Wing was the normal one. I didn't think White Hole was a counter trap. Oh, I didn't no. think it would need to be a counter trap. Is an anti Regeki um, counter trap? Or is that the uh, right? White Hole is a normal trap. Damn. So White Hole is searchable. <laughs> yep, trap tricks have the counter. But also, when they have Reflesia on the board, they can't be destroyed by card effects anyway. Yeah, and I think the field spell also protects them from card effect destruction. Sure. So it's like. <laughs> sure. It, if this had come out maybe, yeah, six to eight months ago, maybe it would have been crazy. No, it wouldn't have been. <laughs> no. Have been? no. Anti-Rageki is uh, also an old trap. Yes. With its little prongs, it goes like... Damn. But anyway, yeah, one of the more obscure cards that's coming out. Uh, one of the Still more... better than the Magician of Faith 2. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not a hard bar that the Magician of Faith 2 is set. No. No. Um... Dark Hole's a better monster than the Magician of Faith. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, but uh, I you suppose it wouldn't survive. I was going to say, you right? could use Magician of Faith yeah. 2 to bring back the Dark Hole. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I found it. But yes. you'd also have to stop it from being destroyed by the Dark Hole you just tried to use. Yeah, it's a very yeah. confusing time. Like, right. um, Book of Wisdom in there. Sure, let's do it. Anyway, uh, moving on to some more support for Labyrinth, because everyone was wanting that. Um, we have okay, Arias, the Labyrinth Butler. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it summons itself. Um, so, uh, during the main phase, send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, and then special summon a labyrinth monster or set a normal trap. It can be activated this turn. Uh, when your opponent activates a uh, effect in response to the activation of a labyrinth card, except itself or a no, uh, or normal trap card or effect, and this card is in the graveyard, special summon itself. Yeah, sure. Like it's a fine card. Like it's a very good card. It's. I, I would it's a good card it's not an amazing card I just don't know why Labyrinth needs more hmm. I don't think it does I don't think it should if you get it more you can hit Dude, it on the ban list they're starting to go I know further but I'm than... starting to like not like that thing because the TCG doesn't hit the right things sometimes it's not that bad of a deck to verse I mean it's not fun like I find myself like, very rate. rarely getting floodgated by my opponent then you've been lucky because like my labyrinth matchups in IRL have just been like oh it's good day my opponent today was main decking goes in and I was like oh that's cute anyway <laughs> fire 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 <laughs> uh, moving on uh, we have exceed the pendulum exceed the pendulum it, yeah <laughs> yeah I never picked up on that before exceed the pendulum <laughs> No, exceed the pendulum. Uh, new link three. So, but it's a link monster. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so Exceeds again, Synchro Pendulum. So it needs two plus monsters, including a Pendulum. If it's Link Summoned, <coughs> add a face up monster from your extract to your hand. Gains a thousand for each Pendulum monster you control. Uh, during the main phase, if you have two cards in your Pendulum Zone, quick effect, special summon one Pendulum monster from your hand or graveyard in defense with level between exclusive the Pendulum scales of the cards in your Pendulum Zone. Not amazing. No. Like, I would say the Zephyr Link is probably better than this. Yes. At the same time, uh, you know, it's also better than this. Just playing the fucking Link 3 spell counter chick. Oh, Celine. Celine's better than this. Yeah. Well, look, if you're thinking specifically about Pendulum Magician, yes, Celine is better. But for general pendulums, Celine doesn't do as much unless you're playing a Pendulum Magician heavy build. Oh, so this one true. makes it a little bit more generic, but also it's just a tad shit. Yeah, it's just still just giving him the same old instead of trying to get him into other areas. It's just more combo shit. And it's like... They started too strong <clears> with Electromite. <throat> and now they're like just trying to get as close to Electromite <clears throat> as possible without <clears throat> like <clears throat> getting to it. What if we I'm turn the... Power Creep down to a 7? <laughs> yeah in this case a three <laughs> or give it maybe just a one i, don't know. I guess like they just they just never have gotten the design of pendulum stuff like completely right they always botch it and either it's too op or too shit it's useless <laughs> <laughs> like yeah there is that problem because i feel like they've given them some really good support shit. like maybe Ooh. three or four years ago you get and it scared people or you get trump girl <laughs> yeah they obviously swung too far one way, mm -hmm. and now they've swung the pendulum back this way. Mm. I see what you're doing here, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Swing pendulum of destiny or whatever. I don't know. I didn't watch a lot of Arc V. <laughs> Let flow the pendulum of synchro. Exceed. Exceed! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have a hint of the next V-Jump card. Um, their last one wasn't too bad, oh, yeah. so I have some high hopes for this one. Uh, this one is uh, Rescue Hedgehog. Uh, so Rescue Hedgehog was seen in the art Jake, of... this was the last one. No, it wasn't. Oh, this was one of them. It was one of them, yes. Oh, and also, really? the people that's The people that keep saying that we don't get fucking V-Jump promos quickly... Yeah, this one was Fast Track, wasn't it? It was Fast Track. All of them shit. are! <laughs> yeah, they could. All of them! They, they could. We don't... They don't impede them anymore. Now that they're shit, we get them immediately. I'm going to be waiting forever for the good Sky Striker one. What do you mean, good Sky Striker? The good, the good Sky Striker V Jump promo link. I, I we will be waiting a... forever. Was that not Azalea? No. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. The other one that was just announced and is going to be coming in the next set. It's not in the next set, is it? I oh, don't know. Maybe. What? They'll give it a quartzy rarezy. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, there's no chance that they don't just give it a quartzy rarezy to gouge the. Luke Sky raised Striker a good video. point to me today. He was like, "So collecting all of the." Uh, Charmers mm -hmm. The Fire Charm is in this set And it comes as a quarter century random Starlight Rare So it ruins your entire set of Starlight Rares Oh that's really annoying actually mm -hmm. Oh yep. shit <laughs> Just a mild inconvenience for collectors To give for the past Three years they've just been like All of them are Starlight 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 Go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> Oh that's ooh. So that... they've got Win the Wind Charmer Starlight Fire Charmer. Yeah, no. they even like backed up and made Heater a Starlight in yep. another set. And now they're just they're like... Go, they're going to burn that. They're going to do it. They're going to realise what they've done and go, oh shit, we don't have a Starlight for this one. All right, let's just throw this one back in. Yeah, like, oh, We're going to get it down the road. Oh. When quarter century rares stop being a thing, we go back to Starlights. They're going to be like... Heater reprint. Yay! <laughs> uh -huh. um, but yeah, uh. back to uh, the Hedgehog. Um, we don't know it's full effects yet, that'll probably be released in the next week or two, uh, but the hint that we've been given is it has an effect or effects to support various kinds of summoning. Oh, so it's gonna back up all of them. I was wondering, like, there's no new mechanic, what the hell, why are they giving us a new rescue monster? Did we monster? get a Link rescue monster? Oh, it was Hamster. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ferret. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Hamster was there. Yeah. Is there a fusion one? I mean, no. Because cats... Cat's XE. No, cat was synchro, sorry. Yeah, and then you've got the XE one, which is rabbit. Then you've got. Yeah, there, was there never, hasn't been a. There was never a specific one for fusions. This is it. It's time. But it says various kinds of summoning. 
it can be tribute summoned. Yeah, this card counts itself as any fusion material. If this card, because we need another one of those. If, yeah, if this, yeah. If this card is sent to the graveyard, fusion, it's just a tier card. <laughs> <laughs> tribute this card. Summon two King of the Swamp from deck. Holy shit! Also add Polly. Oh, uh, also in Age of Overlord, we have another also, card. Um, then send it to relevant from your deck to the graveyard. Yeah, very important to send it after. Uh, so we have a uh, opposition card for Zeus uh, in. Oh, this card's actually pretty nice. Stellar Nemesis T Y Doomsday Star. Yeah, I think there's a font. Is it meant to be well. type one? Yeah. What type? It's a negation. Well, yeah, the way I was reading it was like T Y, and then font was down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, so it is a rank 12 same as Zeus uh, it is a dark fiend instead of a light machine uh, needs two level 12s but it can also exist summon itself using a monster you control with the highest attack during the turn or the turn after your opponent summon two or more monsters from the extra deck um, the way it reads here is that if it's on an exes you transfer the material that was on that exes onto your exes yep uh, but it doesn't specifically say it has to be onto an exes so if you just have like an alpha, you can just then slap this on top. Yes. Uh, and then while it's on the board, uh, neither player can activate the effects of monsters with 3,000 or more attack. Uh, and once per turn, detach a material from this card, return one monster on the so field to the hand. I originally was like, this card's kind of shit. Like, there's not that many good monsters with 3,000 or more attack. And then I got shown a list of all the monsters currently in the meta that have 3,000 or more attack. And I was like... Oh, this card's really good. <laughs> yep. There are quite a few. It just shits on branded. Yep. Grave of the Super Ancient Organism as well. Just go. There'll be ways to get, get it out of it, though. Like oh, yeah. Like, you do... It's like um, You kaiju it. Yeah. I mean, kaiju it. Like, yeah. There's things that can get around it. Like, there's no protection from it. It doesn't do this as a quick effect, the whole bouncy thing. So, yeah. It's not as problematic as Zeus, but it could see some play can i clip that and then in six months time jake's like i keep getting floodgated motherfucking fuck, fuck, i haven't fuck. played branded in ages so people can play this to their hearts content but it stops your big mirror jade ice jade ice jade same thing he hated zeus as well i'm pretty sure my deck is also stopping me from my big ice jade so it's fine <laughs> i'll be real i didn't know a big ice jade had three thousand on war deck <laughs> it does Ooh, floodgated <laughs> um there's a couple of new products as well uh both of them confuse me just a tad uh one of them just a little bit just a tad uh so this one seems to be more an ebay thing that they're releasing auctions for like some super old school cards that's a paid promo you're reading right now oh is it oh well no th we didn't get paid so fuck them uh battles of legend <laughs> chapter one um so this one seems to be a re-release of like some of the bigger cards from the previous battles of legend the ones that seem to have been named here are number 90 galaxy's eyes Photon Lord, Chaos Emperor, yep. Dragon of the Armageddon, yep. Utopia, yep. Um, I think specifically in its uh, Zexal font. Yeah, they're reprinting, Astral. They're reprinting the Astral Utopia. Yeah, which is a real kick in the teeth to the people that already had it. Hey Jake, what if they reprint Thousand Dragon? Ten Thousand Dragon. No. It's in the same set. No. Imagine. They, they were the two chase cards. Remember? In Quartzy Rezies. <laughs> It's a bit early, doesn't Surely it? not. But... This sneaky little reprint of 10,000 Dragon. Oh, and they've uh, moved away from dice. Um, I mean, sorry, damn it. They what moved away it? from sleeve and they moved back to dice. Uh, so the dice. Uh, they sleeves? Well, yeah, for. Um, the Mavens. Mavens, yeah, yeah. They gave us sleeves and we got sick of that apparently. Dice so they're back on dice. Door season three. Uh, so we get uh, six new collectible dice. Um, we get Cyber Dragon. Judgment Dragon, and Elemental Hero Stratos as the signs. Mm -hmm. um, in every pack, there's a Secret Rare and six Ultras, uh, 30 common cards as well, um, and then the one of six collectible dice. Uh, so, yeah, it's one of those ones that's like, the, seems to be multiple packs within the thing. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, not super keen for this, unless they do some cool rarities, except for Quartzy Rares, and hopefully not fucking uh 10,000 dragon yeah Do that we, one why not just reprint it you don't, um, you don't own 10,000 dragon, 10, dragon it'd anyway. be a great opportunity that's mm -hmm. really low how much was it uh 1650 they were from memory though wasn't there like rampant like of good fakes yeah so maybe it's a fake 
There was shitloads of good fakes of that going around. I wonder yeah, why. Wow. Yeah. Because it looks like fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a fake card to begin with. Uh, and then just quickly, at um, San Diego Comic-Con, uh, they're bringing out another map, as they tend to do there. Mm. Uh, this one is of the uh, wingman... Uh, Elemental hero, this card's still a brick man. Yeah, that one. Um, so yeah, that one, uh, it got released in the most recent set. Not that one, though. Yeah, I know. Legend, we all know one. the real card. Yeah, you know the one. Um, so yeah, I like that they do that for them, Ooh. though. It's kind of cool. I think it was... Did they have, like, an exclusive get tomb mat or something? Yeah, like, getting yeah. them's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I think they did. Maybe once. And then we have some garbage cards that are coming out in Age of Overlord as well. Uh, we get a... Oh, yeah, we got the... And the trash, right? Because it came out this week, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the trash came yeah, out this yeah. week. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah, the filler. The and yeah, the yeah. Rest. It's, it's filler week, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got one trap that's kind of like Compulse, but a little bit worse. Uh, has to target a uh, extra deck monster specifically and that it does different things depending on which kind of extract monster oh. it did uh the cool thing about it though is that it does have um ib and imduck from the world legacy storyline in the artwork it oh. doesn't work with them or for them at all that's just nice nice well, to know they're still at around at least laundry trap was more involved <laughs> <laughs> um we get a really bad spell card um lament of the immortal bushi uh, so while it's on the board it's a continuous spell mm. all monsters become warriors mm -hmm. uh, once per that's turn that's absurd <laughs> no no I was in your graveyard did I say field? all monsters in your graveyard become warriors yes yeah, you said field yeah I, I meant, was like that I card's fucking crazy yeah, that that would be bonkers every deck <laughs> would just become an ibd activate ibd. it guess what ah, send the quick <laughs> I have full ghost in combo um, the second effect though uh, once per turn during the end phase, you can destroy all monsters you control. Oh, the card's busted. What if I want to destroy all monsters I control? What if you do? Oh, uh, what if they're just in the way? I appreciate... <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate... I'm no. sick of all these monsters on my board! Get off! That's what Dark Hole's for. <gasps> Non-targeting destruction, this triggers uh, Dark Hole Dragon. This triggers Dark Hole Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Great. But yeah, I appreciate that. It's random. Yeah, it's random, but I, pre I, I like it when they make cook cards like this. Not too many. Like, I like one cook card a set where it's like, oh yeah, I get what you're going for. I like the now XGs that spins around the board. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> uh, Reptiles get another random card. This one's kind of cool. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while your opponent has a uh, field zone, a card in their field zone. Uh, if there is a face-up card in your opponent's field zone, target a monster they control, destroy it, and then it gains a thousand. Uh, and then, again, if there's a field zone, card in the field zone, and the card's in the graveyard, special summon it. Okay. I mean, in the current meta, seems kind of good. Everyone's running field spells of some description. Uh, this one... Yeah, this one's interesting. Uh, Tarai? Uh, it's an Earth Level 4 Fairy. If this card's in your hand, target a face-up monster in the main monster zone that's activated its effects this turn, destroy it, and if you do, special summon that this card to the zone that monster was in. So it's a kaiju? Well, no. Like It's worse than a can... kaiju. <laughs> well, they get to activate the monster. <laughs> what? So it's your opponent activates a monster, then no, you no, no, kaiju no. them. I Correct? face a monster in THE monster zones. So say you act like I'm just applying this to my thing, okay? So it's say, a fairy, isn't it? No, no, it is a fairy, but that's not what I'm thinking. If I activate my, um, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, yeah the one that summons Shine Ball. No, you fuckhead. Uh, <laughs> I'm being serious. You could like go summon Shine Ball, summon Shine Ball, summon Shine Ball. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's it can come up for different things. Some things like to be destroyed. So just a thought. Um, Targets though, you can't summon thingy. What? Targets, so you can't summon Dark Hole Dragon. Oh no. Uh... Fuck, yeah, card must be bad. Um, so Back little... to the um, field spell one for a quick second. Could you not the side that in? Yeah. The field spell alien. Could you not just side that? If you if you don't need your normal summon, and then that's just better because then you always have removal for the field spell if it comes back. Is there a field spell you want to turn off? On your turn, though, it's kind of a, the effects. Rotation, your opponent. Mystic mine. 
Yeah, we, we, we can't stop Mystic Face Mine. Face-up card. In your yeah. Opinion, so. <laughs> Mystic Mine. But, yeah, um, but also, um, they're gonna bring it doesn't turn mind. off the field spell. It destroys a monster specifically. Oh, I thought it said destroy the... Oh. Oh, this card sucks then. Never Set mind. rotation It doesn't them. suck. It's just obviously could... niche. In Reptile decks, it'd be fine. You put it in the graveyard. Your opponent has a field spell. It comes back for free. It's fine. There's so many field spells in the game that I'm sure something will be like... I was like, oh, sick. This goes... is just permanent removal for field spells. I love this guy. Snake Rain. It says monster. Yeah, Snake Rain. Just put it in the bin. Night Serpent, summon it, this one, summon itself. Is it once per turn? Free Zeus? Yeah, more than likely. I think it is, yeah. yeah. Um, so, years and years ago we had, I think it was Card Shuffler? Card Trader. Card Trader. Uh, we now get uh, kind of reverse of that, Card Scanner. Um, oh, I've got to go to Card Trader and Jewel, Jewel Rush. Rush Jewels. Rush Jewels? Rush Jewels. Yeah, they've got the same fucking system. Where it's like, you have a, you, you have, have visited you, today. Yeah, yeah, you have, yeah, you have six hours to buy this card. Uh, but this one, um, you declare a type, and then each player reveals the bottom card of the deck, and if they reveal the card of the declared type, they add it to their hand, otherwise it goes to the top of the deck. Uh, and then if it's destroyed, you can make your opponent place one card from their hand to the bottom of their deck. In two elements, you just declare monster and win. <laughs> monster. Oh, no. Wait, no. You need to declare Wait. not a monster. Oh, you declare spell. And you go... can do the same pearling. I would have... Yeah, it puts it to the top. Yeah. Mill three. Pearling. Because called monsters, because we've been hand traps, you fucking lost. Also, it's once per turn per copy, so God forbid you open all three of these. You can just whack them all on the board and hope for the best. Yeah, and three elements. Plus, if your opponent board wipes you, they're going to put three cards from their hand back to the, <laughs> into their deck. Yeah. I could, yeah, look, it won't be good, but I could see some people doing it for the lols. Uh, we get a couple more illusion monsters. Neither of them are particularly good from what I can remember. Um, it's only a matter of time until yeah. we bust them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Four sets. Cyburst lasted a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but they also released stuff to make Cyburst busted in the beginning. Like, as much as Gofu was a Blackwing card, it was very much just to be like, hey, do this new thing we've given you. Same with... Um, Did Cyburst really get busted till Salad? It was kind of under the radar till I started giving him... Um, si well, not mining. It was something before mining. Salad. Nah, something was Salad. It wasn't Buffalo either. Ugh. I hate that card. Yeah, no, that, it was kind of shit. It was kind of really shit. But yeah, no. Nah. Illusions will go that way. Illusion salad. Illusion salad. What well, will be the illusion salad? Yeah, it will. No, it won't be the Chimera shit, surely. Someone was playing it today and it was actually looked pretty interesting. Huh. It does some things. Mm. None of them amazing. But it's doing them. Yeah. They're there. Um, is there a win con? Did they win any games? Yeah, the guy playing it be Poe. <gasps> but Poe breaks pretty bad. Key three. Uh, we ignore that. We ignore that. It's fine. Um, yeah, I don't think either of these illusion monsters are particularly good. No, they won't. Uh, oh, this one. Yes, this is the one I was looking for. Uh, so mm. this one is a dark level one fairy. I'm probably going to butcher the name, so I apologize in advance. Don't say the M word, Jake. <laughs> Uh, Ori Ori no Kamigami? Kamigami. I'm, I'm impressed. I'll pay it. Uh, so once per turn, toss a coin until the result is tails. And if you do, oh, draw one card for every two heads. Uh, each time either player tosses a coin or coins while this monster is on the field, its attack becomes uh, doubled a number of times equal to the number of heads. And it has 100 attack. So statistically, this card will not resolve. <laughs> More than likely. Uh, but the thing is, it's only once per turn per copy. Whatever. It's okay. Like, if my opponent summons this on me and it goes off, I'll be like, you know what? You've earned it. Well done. You've earned it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is pretty much the pack filler. Uh, nothing of particular. Just say, imagine if it was like, if you hit tails in the first three, your opponent draws two. <laughs> Let's make it worse, cup of ace. Well, what about couple of aces? You mean that awesome card for... Yeah, yeah, the Sprite V cash yeah. tier attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great card. <laughs> Still yet to do it. Wait, did you end up selling your Sprite core? Yeah. Ah. I literally built it with that in it, and then like was getting ready to go to locals and was like, no, I'll play something else. 
Note about the one of the illusion monsters we didn't talk to. It's a UFO monster, car, uh, whatever. Not UFO relevant. right? Yeah. Oh, no, it's it, it looks UFI like UFI light is what yeah, it's called. Yeah. Fire illusion level yeah, eight. Yeah. yeah. So it's an illusion. And it's uh-huh. UFO. What does Konami mean by that? It thinks that UFOs are an illusion. <laughs> I'm offended. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going on with this other one. I'm trying to work out what's where, and it's real confusing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the pack filler. So we'll move on to some questions. Uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from 6 by 6 What is a better investment, booster box of Yu-Gi-Oh! or booster box of Pokemon? No. Oh. Well, uh, it, it, there's, it both just, are fucked yeah. it depends it all depends on when they stop printing what what's in what like like just to open and sell like Pokemon can be pretty fucking brutal yeah like and it's also a lot more expensive well he's commented that they seem to be a similar price point lately so I don't know yeah, whether they're... some boxes of Pokemon have come yeah, down depends. or it's just that Yu-Gi-Oh has gone up you guys oh, gone up, but like they've overprinted some. Like Astral Radiance, there's a metric fuck ton. Oh, like, there are Pokemon sets where people are fire selling them because they can't get rid of the amount of volume they have. And then there's others where there was none of it, and now it's like a thousand a box. Yeah. Well, do you think that's purely like that whole hype thing around COVID time, where yes, like everyone that, was that buying it. the product? So then they've obviously ramped up production on a heap of stuff, and it just so happens to be at the time where everyone's like, I don't want to buy boxes now. Yeah, pretty much. That is exactly it. Oh, lucky it's just cardboard. Yeah. Um, so, generally speaking, the rule of thumb that I have when if I'm buying Pokemon, not that I've bought Pokemon in friggin' ages, is like, Pokemon's good if you pull the decent cards, high rarity, and you can hang on to them for a while, um, as long as they're not like meta staples. Like, if you pull a Charizard, you just sit on that shit for ages, it'll always yes. be worth money. Um, but Yu-Gi-Oh! is like, so meta dependent for the most part sell now yeah pretty much if it's like if it's this and you pull the money cards sell it yeah yeah oh and you can pick up some old like this thing is definitely it's just playing the markets in different ways where on pokemon you've got to realize oh what collectors are going to value while in you you've got to realize what players are going to play like players are always going to be access the cards that they need to play in the card game because if they don't they all have a little bitch fit like yeah. unlike us we're like oh okay we'll just find a way to make it work <laughs> so Pokemon best for long term hold Yu-Gi-Oh best for short term hold yeah yeah. and or uh, Pokemon digging equals up. house investment Yu-Gi-Oh equals stocks yes yeah sure that works uh, next question comes to us from Tuesday's noob uh, did, no wait no we, that's not on the note that some houses can just you know go <laughs> yeah fire fun. is a hell of a drug mm. now damn Ron that's, Perlman that's, that's yeah, as Ron Perlman has said <laughs> Things that, burn down, eh? That's your mistake for buying next to the toast factory. Yeah, I was going to say, if I can run pull and run the toast factory. Him, <laughs> he does. <laughs> uh, the last question, unfortunately, two real questions this week. Uh, back in the beginning of C4G, how did you all maintain motivation to keep releasing content into the void? <laughs> this is, I guess, more so for you. Do you want to ask this question? But uh, was, this is six out six. Oh. To be honest, there would never was really a void. Our audio numbers were kind of always okay. Like, we, I was always like, oh yeah, uh, like we were at least at a hundred downloads. Like we've never been under hundred downloads. It's just kind of weird. And I go, you know what? A hundred people's enough for me. We have a very I'll, solid core audience. If this wasn't recording, I'll talk at these two cunts for a while and then go watch television. Like, I'm it's gonna true. be doing. I'm does, gonna be doing this no matter that. what. <laughs> <laughs> This gives him no outlet, otherwise he's sitting in the corner just, just rambling like, about. So this fucking UFO, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, Lucian, <laughs> how do you think that UFOs are real? Or are they fake? Gotta let us know, Mr. Konami. Mm. Um, but yeah, on the point of that, uh, we also do like little to no promotion of this whatsoever, whereas most content creators that I see will just post their stuff everywhere. Some of it will go off to great success. They'll find a big audience, they'll go off. Uh, some will be like, can you stop posting your shit fucking profiles, please? Yeah. And some people get sent stuff by Konami who don't deserve to have stuff sent to them. Yep, purely because of where they live. 
Yeah. Where's my product? Oh, yeah, this product is just killing me. Just give us product. Ship me product. Do it now. Give me ulti talent. Ah, thrust. Give me ulti thrust. No, that's kind of... I don't get that. Hmm? I don't get that. How has that got leaked so early? I thought that set's coming out next week. Anyway. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, that does conclude us very much for this evening. Thank you all for watching and listening. Uh, if you are on Spotify, feel free to favourite us. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Uh, jump to our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.